If you're looking for a new home with the conveniences of living near a city, but don't want to sacrifice things like trees, parks, green space, things like that, then Park and Maven might be for you. Hey, I'm Scott Moe with the Moe Real Estate Team, and today I'm here at the Park and Maven Show Home. Now, you might have driven by this. It's on Fraser Highway here. It's a 15-acre master plan community, and you might be wondering, what are they selling? What Are they condos, townhouses? Well, today I'm going to take you inside the show center here. We're going to talk with the staff, find out what's going on, find out what's for sale, and find out what it would be like if you were a homeowner here. And while there's a lot of things to love about this property, there might be some things that don't work for you. So make sure that you stick around to the end. And if you're watching this, you might be part of the 95% of people that aren't currently subscribed to our channel. So make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe below so you don't miss out on any of our new videos coming out soon. Now enough from me, let's head in and see what Park and Maven's all about. Hi, uh, my name is John Skender, Sutton Center Real Estate and the listing agent for the Park and Maven development, which has been my project for the last five years now, from inception to the point where we've gotten it right now. Awesome. So that'll give a little- Excited to hear all about it. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so I'd like to start with the macro, the big picture of the, uh, of the Park and Maven, and that is that this is Fraser Highway right along here. This is the road that you folks just drove in now to our presentation center, right. which means we're standing right about here in the context of the whole development. Everything you see in white here is part of our development, the Park and Maven. It is 15 and a half acres of former golf course land and 650 units with a combination of townhouses, condominiums, and one rental building. How many townhouses, how many condos? What we, we've got 55 townhouses, the balance of which are condominiums and a approximately a 60 unit residential rental building as required by the city of Surrey. Another big picture item here is what we have is the number of access points to our site. It's a huge project. So we have one access point here, which we talked about. You see this road right here? This road is the road that you see when you drove in, it leads up to 192nd Avenue, which will be access point number two. Okay. You go down 192nd Avenue here to Fairway Drive, this road's been here for over 40 years. All right, this is Greenside Estate. That Center, is right? correct. Yeah. Greenside Estate. Access point number three. So you have a total of three access points into the project. Very important. Great. Another point is we're retaining about 65 of the old growth trees. Yep. And we're planting another 600 approximately. There's a lot of greenery in this project right now. Yeah, okay. That's good. From where we are now and the walk up Fraser Highway to this point, it's approximately 10 minutes and that's SkyTrain yeah. Station SkyTrain. number one. If we walk from where we are now and walk down to 196, that is again, approximately a 10 minute walk or 800 meters to SkyTrain Station number two. So this has been something that is incredibly important for any development and it's been a benefit to the park. Yeah, I mean, you're well. close to downtown Langley, close to all that stuff and you wanna head into Vancouver, 10 minute walk and you're on the SkyTrain. Well, just to give you an idea, uh, probably 35, 40% of our clientele is from the other side of the bridge. We go down to the south end of our project, okay? We are, our construction has commenced and we are literally eight months ahead of schedule at this point. But look, this is important here because this section here, this is the 55 townhouses that we have. And the 55 townhouses, we have approximately 19 remaining at this point. There are three bedroom, three bathroom townhouses that are on three levels with nine foot ceilings. These are our 1200 square foot units that have the tandem parking design. So one parking in front of the other. Those are 899 to 909 right now. The townhouses that you're speaking about, my friend, those are a little bit different. They're 1450 square feet. Mm -hmm. They are again, three levels, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. And the difference is they have side by side parking and a large area in behind the garage. So there's a, they're a bigger townhouse. Right. Those are priced anywhere from $1,029 to $1,059. These townhouses, the exterior of the townhomes is the same as the exterior of the condominium. It's very simple. It's brick, hardy panel, metal, glazing, and that's it. Low maintenance, lasts forever. What's even more interesting with these townhouses is all of them have forced air heating, which means they have central all air levels? conditioning. Yeah, all, all three, three levels, levels okay. forced yep. air. You also have your own hot water tank, and you also have your own electric meter. So basically it's like living in your own home yeah okay yeah, that's good these townhouses are going to be ready to move in by the end of this year 
October, November, December of 2023 is the slated moving date. Let's move north here. This is very important. This here is called the Maven House. It's 12,400 square feet of amenity building. That amenity building includes a daycare center. It includes a gymnasium. It includes a gourmet kitchen. It includes a party room. It includes a meeting room and it includes a dog washing station. And something about childcare I saw in the brochure. Yes, that was mandated to us by the city of Surrey that we must have a daycare center. So who's gonna operate that, like some It's You're... private, it's gonna be privately operated. Someone to uh, somebody has already purchased that right. Oh, nice. And they're gonna be opening it up. And now, according to Surrey, it's for everybody. It cannot be just for the exclusive use of okay. Park and yeah, Maven, that, that's fair. Yeah. but given our proximity to the building and to its uh, resources, chances are we'll have the majority of those uh, yeah. children yeah. in there. So that's going to be finished by the end of the year. All the balance of these buildings now are condominiums. Currently, and the only thing I'd like to focus on right now is we are selling these two buildings right here. This is called the Cardinal. This is called the Heron. If we put a mirror down the middle, they're literally a mirror image of one another. This one has 132 units. This one has 101 units. This building has two elevators. This building has two elevators. So exactly the same. Yeah, both buildings are five levels. All of the units have nine foot ceilings. And the reason we're selling these together is they share the same underground parkades. Ah, okay. Yep. So with every single unit comes one parking stall, one storage locker. And the reason I mention that now is to give you an idea on how many parking stalls we have. Once we've given all the parking stalls away as per the sale of the units, there's an additional 47 visitor parking stalls, okay? On top of that, there's approximately eight special needs stalls. And then over and above that, we have approximately 60 additional stalls. Okay. So the, the zoning with the city of Surrey required us to do an, an abundance of parking, which Wait, we do is have. Is there an option if you wanted to purchase an extra one? Yes, Yeah. Okay. absolutely. Um, given the uh, amount of parking, we've also been mandated that every single parking stall must be roughed in for electric charging. So nice. level two, 200 volt. That's what the max is right now. I think we're already at level three. So having said that now, what do we have for condominiums? These two buildings here, there's approximately 168 to 170 units there. Exactly the same layout as you see what we've displayed here. Pricing will be about the same and the unit mix will be about the same. We'll have one bedroom, one bathroom units. Yep. We'll have junior two bedroom units and we'll have two bedroom, two bathroom units. I think in this building, we've also got a couple with dens, maybe two or three units with dens. Okay. okay. We're gonna launch those sometime in the new year, you know, like January, February, sometime around there. Right, okay. so townhouses are all, all available, what's, what's being made yeah. now and they're ready at the end of the year. Uh, those two buildings that you're selling now, when are those going to be complete? We originally anticipated middle to end of 2025. It is my sincere belief that we will be finished in first quarter of 2025. For okay. sure. Huh? Yeah, we're really moving ahead. Nice. Okay. Now, what I'd like to show you as well is these ones, like I said, when we launch these will be in January. Here, remember I told you we're standing right about here? Yeah. So this building here, that is our rental building mandated by the city of Surrey. Yep. Uh, market rental only, they can never be sold. Mm -hmm. Okay, they must, we must, and I think it's a very good thing because we don't have enough rentals anywhere in the province right now. Very severe shortage. These two buildings will be the last phase. These are the balance of our condominiums. There's probably about 200 units there as well. If people are interested in the condominiums, we do have a option for air conditioning, but we've roughed in every single unit for air conditioning should somebody want it in the future. And what I mean by that is it is essentially a heat pump. The actual unit will fit on your deck. There'll be a conduit on the exterior wall and there'll be a secondary outlet on top of the wall, which will cool the kitchen, living and dining room areas. And you can put that in at any time you want. It doesn't have to be through us. And that pretty much sums up the project and what we're offering and what we have here. What I can show you, if you want to bring your camera over here. So this is the Cardinal and the Heron in real time, I call it. We actually um, had this built for us. These are actually people. <laughs> so you can see the entrance here is about 20 feet high. And here the entrance is you're looking about 18 feet high due to the elevation change. Beautiful, grandiose entrances, amenity space and amenity space in each building just for the people that live in the building, more of a meet and greet type of atmosphere. And these are the actual colors of the building. Maven House there. That's, that's the that's Maven, Maven House, that cool. is correct. Yeah, and tells you all about the Maven House and what we've got here. We're the beginning of that new fence. That's the Cardinal. 
all the way down to the end of the fence. And then to the right of the fence is the Heron building. And you'll see the parkades are, the parkade on the Heron is already done. Yep. We're now putting the final touches on the Cardinal parkade. And then, and then townhouses are way down there. So everything you see here is how the unit will be depicted and sold to the final consumer. Right. Okay. Yeah. With the exception of, of, the, of the not included stickers. Yeah. So this kind of cool. This this alcove is here on some units. Yeah. And then if people want this, they pay for it or they put it in themselves. So that's right. What's really important to see here is we also have gas stoves in every single unit. Well, condo, townhouse, doesn't matter. We're putting gas stoves in. So that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Cool. One thing we did not discuss is the maintenance fees mm -hmm. for the condominiums. The maintenance fees is anywhere from 52 to 54 cents a square foot. That includes your hot water. That includes your gas. That includes the common area maintenance of the buildings inside and out. All the groundscaping, which there'll be a lot of, and building insurance. Perfect. For the townhouses, it's 18 to 20 cents a square foot. Mm -hmm. But remember, you've so got like your, a 1,200 square foot. Uh, 240 bucks a that's month. Pretty low. But Wait, they the always same, go up though. Don't no, 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 no. no. They, they, they don't go <laughs> not up. Not a park in Maven. Not a parking maven. No, we 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 are we put a nickname on inflation. Nothing goes up here. Um, no, um, we don't want it to go up because if it does, then we get fined. The fines are massive. What was that? Right? The developer has to pay the dip. Oh, it's all oh. kinds of things. The reason it's so little is because remember, you've got your own hot water tank and your own meter. Yeah. So it sounds like you're you know you're getting you're paying your maintenance, but you also have a hydro bill, which the condominiums don't. So this is the two bedroom unit. Take a quick peek at this. Got a cool little patio over here showing you the view. Mount Baker there, TV area here. One bedroom, I can get a look at that. That's pretty, you know, decent size, nice size windows. Like you mentioned, there's nine foot ceilings in here. So that's kind of make it feel quite airy and spacious. This kitchen is really nice. All modern, got under cabinet lighting, nice marble backsplash, flat panel doors, black hardware. That's quite good and yeah I mean gas stove is pretty big you don't see that in uh, condos very often so that's kind of nice Samsung appliances I guess this would be your front door where you come in and hang your coat and then yeah and then the other bedroom over here it's also got an exit to the patio from from here in this plan so that's kind of good so this is the ensuite bathroom here and this is kind of your uh, guest ba bathroom or powder room here so that's good so this is the one bedroom unit here pretty cool little layout not a whole lot smaller really the main area than that uh, two bedroom unit was so that's that's nice same features here with all the gas stove nice island one bedroom one bathroom but yeah pretty nice little layout here decent walk-in closet so if you want to find out more about park maven if you're curious about the floor plans and like to find out some current pricing please reach out we'll be happy to get you that information now if you made it to this point in the video there's a good chance that you're looking to buy or sell in the surrey langley white rock or surrounding areas so if you're interested in reaching out to us send us an email info at moteam.ca we'd be happy to help you out we've been selling homes in this area for over 20 years so rest assured if you choose to work with a mo real estate team you're in very good hands. And before you leave, if you like this video, you'll love our video on our top five picks for Surrey neighborhoods. We'll drop a link for that one below. So take a watch of that. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you guys soon.